Welcome, Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas. The senator is a member of the Banking, Intelligence, and Armed Services Committees. And, Senator, thank you for being here today. Sure, Becky. Thanks for having me on. You, you've been very outspoken about Huawei and the risk that you think it presents. Uh, what do you think about what Secretary Mnuchin just told us? Becky, Huawei is essentially an arm of the Chinese Communist Party, and they are operating in a market to set up the fifth generation wireless network around the world that is essentially akin to some of the critical weapons of war in the Cold War, like tanks and aircraft carriers. That's why we shouldn't allow American companies to do business with Huawei in setting up their fifth generation wireless network, why I've introduced legislation that would codify the president's policy, keeping Huawei on the denied entity list and allowing Congress to review any future president's decision to remove them from that list or grant waivers to American companies so they can get licensed to sell products to Huawei. Just like we review arm sales of traditional weapons when we sell them to, say, Saudi Arabia or Egypt or the United Arab Emirates, we should also be reviewing any American company's attempts to sell products to Huawei to build out fifth generation wireless networks. Watching from the sidelines, it's been a little confusing uh, to be told that Huawei is so dangerous, but then to see it kind of getting thrown into play in terms of the trade talks. Um, it, it seems to be the central piece between the China-U.S. trade talks at this point. What do you think of that? Well, I know that Xi Jinping wants it to be a central piece of the trade talks, but I would not allow Huawei uh, to get any reprieve from our denied entity list at the Commerce Department or to let American companies deal with them in their fifth generation wireless network business. Now, Huawei has other lines of business, most notably uh, second rate, inexpensive handheld phones that are mostly distributed throughout the developing world. Those are not really a threat to America's security or prosperity or privacy. It's the fifth generation wireless network that is a threat because information technology and fifth generation wireless networks are so essential not just to our economy, but through the way the American military and our allies will wage war in the future. Well, that sounds like there's a little bit of light between what you just explained the first go around and the second go around. Would you allow American companies to sell uh, goods to Huawei if it's to be used in those cell phones that you think are not a threat? So, Becky, that's what the president has said. That's what Secretary of Commerce Wil Wilbur Ross had said. They will review applications to sell any kind of product to Huawei based on whether it's a national security threat. Uh, I don't see selling any kind of technology that isn't going into their handset business as a national security threat. I would want to take a careful look to make sure that technology can't be repurposed into their fifth generation wireless network business or other possibilities. But those are the reasons why Secretary Ross has said it is at least conceivable that American companies could do business. But when it comes to Huawei's business setting up fifth generation wireless networks, I don't think the administration should grant licenses. And I think Congress should be able to review any grants of licenses with this administration or future ones. If that's the case, um, it, if we go along with your plan on this, it, it seems that it very likely could mean that the tariffs exist for a much longer period of time and that China steps back from, it, from its commitment to buy uh, more goods, particularly from U.S. farmers. I would assume that have an impact on your state of Arkansas as well. Are you okay to go down that path? Well, China has already discriminated against Arkansas rice farmers who grow the largest commodity that we export in Arkansas. They've made a lot of commitments uh, in the past, not only to this president, but to previous presidents. They often don't follow up on their commitments. So I, for one, am not particularly impressed with any commitments they've made until they reach an ironclad agreement. My, pu my proposal would be that that agreement not touch on Huawei's fifth generation wireless network. If the president can reach a good agreement for America's farmers and ranchers and foresters and manufacturers, that's a good thing. But we shouldn't bring national security questions like Huawei's uh, fifth generation wireless network into those trade negotiations. Senator, what kind of support do you have, A, from your colleagues in the Senate and then B, from the administration? Who have you spoken with there? What widespread support, Becky. Um, Senator Chris Van Hollen, a leading Democrat on the Bank Committee, is my co-sponsor for this legislation. And as we've seen in the past, China has very few friends uh, in Congress, and that's in part because the American people know what a raw deal China has been giving to America's workers and what a threat they po propose to America's security. So I believe we'll move forward on this legislation uh, during this Congress, and I expect it will get a very large bipartisan supermajority.